if you're using something outside of GitHub, maybe even a Git server under your desk, it gives you options and flexibility. The next one I'm going to talk about is the setup and user experience of using both of these tools. GitHub Actions, it's fast, like you're up and running in minutes fast. That is how fast it is. But with Azure DevOps, it is slower to set up, but it gives you enterprise grade muzzles under the hood. It might take you a couple of minutes, hours, days to set up and get used to it, but once you get a nick of it, you're pretty much in the zone. I'm talking about workflow design. GitHub Actions runs on pure YAML, flexible and lightweight. Azure DevOps, on the other hand, lets you choose between YAML and the visual editor if you're still living in dinosaur age. So it's handy if your team includes people who prefer a UI, but generally, personally, I do not advise that. And let's even talk about the ecosystem and plugin options. GitHub Actions wins on community. There are thousands of actions in the marketplace created, curated, and shared by developers all over the world that you can plug into your pipelines and workflows and make it work seamlessly. Just use the tool that is right for the job. Now, my final verdict. It's a case of how do I bring all the tools together to make my work and life easier?